Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to this session on model deployment in PyCaret. The first thing we want to do is install the PyCaret module by using the pip install command. Next, we want to have a look at the predict model method. Now, before we do predict underscore model method, of course, we want to create a model in PyCaret. Now, creating model in PyCaret is very easy. You can use these five lines of code. For more details, you can watch the previous videos of this series. Now, what I'm doing here is bringing in the inbuilt diabetes dataset. By using setup method, I am doing the data pre-processing operations and then by using create underscore model method and passing the XGBoost as an abbreviated string to create underscore model, I am creating a XGBoost model. Once my model is created, the next thing I want to do is pass this model classifier to the predict underscore model method. Now what predict underscore model method does, it automatically apply the entire transformation pipeline created using the experiment to my holdout or test data set. Now you can see I'm getting the accuracy of 75.76% which is not bad considering that I have just write six lines of code here and I'm not doing any hyper parameter tuning. The next thing we want to do is we want to have a look at this thread underscore holdout variable. Now of course the predict model is giving us a pandas data frame so we can have a look at the top five rows. Now we are getting these two extra rows here which says in the header label and score so you can see the probabilities which are less than 0.5 they are being labeled as in the 0 and the probabilities which are greater than 0.5 they are labeled as 1 you can also see there are some class variables which are actually 1 in your test data set but they are being predicted as 0 so this is very helpful to look like what your model is predicting so once you have done predict model, the next thing you want to do is you want to finalize your model. Now we have very good documentation on finalized model in PyCaret. What actually finalized model said that once you have done everything, you have trained your model, you have test your model, now you want to save your model or finalize your model. Now what actually finalized model does, it, it actually takes the entire data set including the holdout data set, right? So you have trained data set and test data set. Now we have decided that everything is done and we have our transformation pipeline. This time what we want to do is in finalized model, we want to take all the data in one go. So there is no test data set, no trained data set. We are taking the whole data set and finalizing our model. So if you want to finalize your model, what you have to do is you have to use the finalize underscore model method and simply pass your model parameter to it. So here again, we have a Boston data set and I'm using logistic regression. And to finalize model, I'm just passing the LR variable which I'm storing here. Now, once your model is finalized, you want to use this finalized model. So all the parameters coefficient that you have learned during training, you want to apply that on unseen data. So next, what we want to do is we want to have a look the prediction on the unseen data. So up to here, we have finalized our model already. Next, what I'm doing is I'm bringing an unseen data set from my Google Drive. You can see this is the relative part that I have given. Of course, you have to mount your Google Drive in Google Collab to access this data. I'm using pandas read CSV and storing the data in data underscore unseen variable. Next, I want to do is use the predict underscore model method and pass my finalized model object here and as data and taking the unseen data. So hence, I'm using my all the transformation pipeline that I created earlier and now I'm using it to predict the output on the unseen data. Next we want to see is how you can deploy this model. So this is specifically for AWS users, but if you are using Heroku or any other, you know, uh, cloud provider, the same, uh, the same setup will be applied there. So what you have to do is once you have finalized your model, there is one very good method by the name of deploy underscore model. Now in deploy underscore model, what you have to do is pass your finalized model parameter first. Then you have to choose a model name so that later on you can load this model name or use it for predictions. Then you can mention the platform here. So as I said, this is for AWS. So I'm mentioning AWS here. And then you have to give your authentication of S3 bucket uh, in a dictionary format. Now, once this is done, your model is deployed on AWS and it's ready to be used. Now, once the model is deployed, you want to do predictions using the deployed model. So again, I'm bringing some unseen data set in my Google Colab environment. And this time in my predict underscore model, I'm giving the model name which I saved earlier. So here I'm using LR underscore AWS. 
again I am passing the unseen data and the same thing for platform and authentication hence you will be able to use the deployed model for prediction on unseen data the next thing we want to see today is the save model so save underscore model method is again going to save all the transferable or transformation pipeline and all the coefficients to a binary object actually we do the same thing by creating the pickle file so pickle file is nothing but it saves the binary properties of your object in binary form so to save your model you all have to do is use the save underscore model method pass your object classifier or model classifier which is dt here so i'm creating a decision tree for the same diabetes problem here and then give a name to your save model now once this model is saved the next time you want to load it you can of course use the load underscore model method and by passing the name that you have given earlier so you can see how much easy it is to save and load the saved model in PyCaret. That's all for today guys. Thanks for watching. Happy learning. Stay safe.